Hey, uh, Duncan McPherson here with Pareto Systems from the field. I'm at the Gaylord Hotel in Grapevine, Texas. It's a trippy place, I'll tell you. It's like a biosphere. You can forget uh, that you're not outside. It's very cool. I'm here with a client. We're just launching after many months of engineering a proprietary best practices format. And it's interesting because they started the meeting by playing a YouTube video called Build the Person You Want to Be. It's pretty cool. You should look into it. I mean, nothing earth shattering, but good gentle reminders. It's all centered around Earl Nightingale, who basically said, thoughts are things. Like you are what you think about all the time, which is powerful. If you think of the law of attraction, I mean, if I'm fixated on the things that cause me anxiety and frustration, I'm chances are I'm going to manifest that self-fulfilling. So of course the emphasis is fixate on the positive and what you aspire to. Keep visualizing that. Anyway, I was thinking about this also because yesterday an advisor asked me, you know, who is your ideal client? Like, what are you looking for in a client? And I said, well, it's not really who we're looking for, it's who we're suited for. Like what we do is bought, not sold. We attract, we don't chase. It's gotta be an alignment of interest. It's gotta be a good fit. And I started thinking about that because I've often been saying that the advisors who like us the most tend to need us the least. And what does that really look like in terms of the qualities, the commonalities? And among other qualities, one that's so profound is that even at the highest level, the mindset is that the clay is soft. There's no fixation on inertia confidence. They don't mistake movement for achievement. They're always trying to refine and optimize what they do. Even if it's subtle, minor adjustments can lead to major improvements. And just being mindful of uh, entropy, how nothing improves if it's neglected or ignored. No, it's interesting about being the perpetual protege you know, the best thing for my golf game was taking my kid to get lessons and just being a fly in the wall. Not long ago, I saw a video of my swing and I was shocked because, you know, as a Canadian, slap shot is pretty well ingrained in my DNA, but that sort of snuck out into my golf swing. Make one adjustment, results are huge, but again, the clay is soft. And the, the best thing about being the perpetual protege is I think it impacts your ability to be a good mentor. You know, when you're working and it's a two-way street, you get to hear yourself, you get to improve the way you conduct yourself. I mean, you can't pour from an empty cup. When it's real application, not theory, and when you're just predisposed to constant improvement, it's powerful. So to recap, you know, this whole conversation just reminds me of the qualities of our ideal client, immense gratitude, immense humility, respect, along with their aspirations. That's probably a lot like your ideal clients. So just, couple of thoughts I wanted to share. This is Duncan McPherson with Pareto Systems from the field. We'll see you on LinkedIn. Make it a great day.